Welcome to Chorus Stories. Are you ready to meditate with Cory? Hi friend, don't forget to subscribe, say that you like the video, and also press the bell so that you get notifications every time I make a new video. If you love Heidi, Cherry, and Vea, or Tucker and Leo stories, you can now get exclusive stories on my Patreon account. Go to the links below the video and you can join Heidi Cherry and Vea Club or the Tucker and Leo Club and get exclusive stories with your names in them. I love you all so much. Enjoy the story. Bye, friend. Are you ready? To meditate with Cory. Make sure that you're all comfortable and warm in your bed. Turn the lights down low so you can relax your eyes. Your brain can start to slow down. So your body gets signals that it's time to go to sleep. Heidi, Cherry and Vea were in the library. Heidi had run out of books to read and she wanted to go to the library to get all new books on a library card. Cherry and Vea had never been with her before. The first mistake that Cherry made was to be very, very loud. As soon as she walked through the doors in the library, she said, OMG, there's so many books. Oh, gosh. Oh. Heidi instantly jumped on her and said, Shh, you can't do that in here. You have to be really quiet. Jerry said, What are you talking about? Vea said, Oh, oh, Jerry, Jerry. Heidi means that you have to be so quiet here in the library. People come here to read books. It's not a noisy place. It's a quiet place. Heidi said, thank you, Vea. Cherry, you can't shout. You can't use your normal voice. We have to do like a whisper voice in libraries. Cherry said, trying really hard. I don't think I can do a whisper voice. I don't think I've ever done one. Heidi instantly rubbed one paw across her forehead. She was sweating a little bit, panicking. What did I do bringing Cherry to a library? She thought to herself. Vea said, Imagine it's a competition. I, in fact, we can make it a real competition. At the end of this, once, once we get back outside into the rest of the world, whoever did the best whisper voice, whoever was the bestest, quietest cat inside of the library, wins. Cherry blurted out loud once again. I scream! Heidi said, shh, 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 oh gosh. Yes, yes. Ice cream. But before we go any further, you have to show me you can whisper. Cherry tried. I don't. Heidi couldn't help it. Even under all the stress, she had to laugh. Cherry's face was so funny. It was like she couldn't talk anymore. Vea giggled too. Vea said, I know what. Say, oh, I really like the library, but say it in a whisper. Cherry swallowed and really thought about what she was doing and focused really hard. She got little lines across her forehead. She was so focused. She went, She said,
said it really loud again. Freya said, no, don't get excited. Say it in a whisper, the whole thing. Heidi and Veya jumped up and down very quietly, as if they were so excited. Veya said, You did it! You did it! That's it! Okay, say this, say this. I am going to win this competition and get ice cream. Cherry smiled. Ah, ah, OM! Oh, oh, OM! OMG! I am going to win this competition. I am going to get ice cream. Heidi said. That was good, but but take it down a notch. Try and whisper even quieter. Oh, Jay, she said really loud. Heidi said, shh, shh, Jerry, you're going to get in trouble. Just try. Jerry went <gasps> Nothing's coming out Heidi started laughing again. No, not not like that. Just speak in your normal voice, but close it down. Like close down the back of your throat. The noise that comes out of your mouth Make it really quiet. You can still speak. Cherry said, Well, it's easier than to, to say then. Uh, Heidi jumped on her quickly and said, Shh. OMG. Cherry. Said Heidi. Cherry swallowed, focused, and tried again. I can, I, I can, I can be really quiet. I'm a really good whisperer. I can, I can win this competition. I can, I can, I can get ice cream. Cause I'm so good. I'm so good. Heidi and Vea silently clapped and bounced around her, around her. Freya said, That's it. You can do it. That's awesome. Okay, now, now we can go in the library more and start to look for books. Cherry said, I don't know what book to get. Heidi said, Just pick, just pick whatever you want. There's so many books. Cherry said, Yeah, I know, that's why I was so excited. Veya said, Okay, now we need to practice so that your whisper doesn't sound like you're in a gale force wind. Because it sounds like you're on the top of Mount Everest or something, being blown by hundred mile winds. Cherry thought that was hilarious. And she laughed really loud, holding her tummy. Heidi ambushed her again. You can't laugh loud. You have to quietly whisper laugh. Cherry said, How on earth do you whisper laugh? Thea said, I just shrug my shoulders and hold in the voice. I don't even make a sound. I just... Make movements like my body's laughing. Well, Cherry thought that was even funnier. She fell on the ground and started rolling around with her mouth open, shaking her shoulders up and down as if she was laughing, which made Veya laugh because she was doing it really funny, which made Heidi laugh, and then Heidi forgot she was supposed to be quiet, so she laughed really loud. The lady that worked at the library had already noticed these three. At this point, she came over. 
Quiet voices in the library, please. And can you please get off the floor? Is everything okay over here? Heidi said. Oh, yes. Yes, everything's fine. The lady eyeballed Cherry. Cherry got a little bit scared. She stood up really quickly, brushed down her OMG t-shirt, and looked at the lady as if she was going to be a very good kitty. The lady frowned at Cherry. I'm watching you. That's what the frown said. She didn't say that out loud, but that's what she meant. Cherry gulped. The lady walked away. Cherry said, OMG! She was like Mrs. Trunchbolt. Do you remember Mrs. Trunchbolt from Matilda? I thought she was going to put me in the chalky. Well, Heidi killed herself laughing. Vea thought that was really funny too. It wasn't too long ago that they'd watch Matilda. They knew exactly what she was talking about. Mrs. Trunchbolt was this scary principal. Her hair was all brushed back in a bun. and She had a big mole on her face that had hairs coming out of it. She was super mean. She put all the kids in the chokey. And the chokey was like this box with pointed spikes in it. It was horrible. Mrs. Trunchbull is horrible. They walked over to the area where there were romance novels. Cherry picked one up. She started to read in the middle of one of the books that was called Midnight Kisses. Cherry's little cheeks blushed a bit. Vea said, What's wrong? Are you okay? Cherry said, Oh, am she? This book's really raunchy. Vea said, What's happening? Cherry said, she looked down and started to read the book. Brian! Brian! That, I think that's the guy in the book. Brian! Grabbed a hold of Vanessa and kissed her on her neck. And then he looked her in the eyes and confessed his love. Oh, my! That is a raunchy book. Cherry said, they should have a warning! Full, loud, normal voice. Vea almost died, grabbed a hold of Cherry and said, Shh! Mrs. Trunchbull, they'll get you. Cherry went white. <gasps> and looked all panic-stricken for a second. And then calmed herself down when no one was coming. I actually think this box a bit gross. Point it back, I'm going to try a different one. She picked up a different book. The night before the full moon, it was called. She opened it up again in the middle and started reading. Cherry's eyes got really big after a few minutes. This one's all raunchy too? Are we in like the raunchy section or what? Vea said, this is the romance section. Maybe they're all like that. Let's go over to the sports section. I want to look at a book on ballet. You go ahead, said Cherry. I think I'll stay here. Vea looked a bit puzzled at Cherry. Not quite understanding why she wanted to stay on the romance section if she thought the whole thing was pretty gross. But she left her and went over to the sports section to try and find a section on dance and hopefully find a book on ballet. She wanted to practice some different moves and learn the different names for the steps. In the meantime, Cherry had gone through ten different books reading all the raunchy parts. She thought they were great. She got over blushing. She wasn't blushing anymore. She was daydreaming about boyfriends and neck kisses. Ooh, she was thinking to herself. Heidi got lots of different books. 
and after a while, it was time to go home. When they walked past Mrs. Trunchbull, Cherry said, We're going now, bye! In a full voice, Heidi looked at her and went, Cherry! Cherry smiled and carried on walking out to the library. She was a scary lady, so scary. OMG, she even had a mole on her, on her chin, just like Mrs. Trunchbold. <gasps> she was like really scary. <gasps> OMG, I'm feeling my voice and it's so nice to be able to talk really loud and annoyingly. <gasps> oh, hello world. Hello street. Hello ice cream. Heidi took Cherry and Vaya for ice cream. They all got ice cream because they all did really good. Well, as good as could be expected from Cherry. But she really did do very good. To say that she's a really loud cat and she talks a lot. She's definitely not quiet. But she did good. Heidi, on the way home, was thinking about different times that maybe they could have a whispering competition. Like, for example, when she was trying to read her book in the bathtub. It'd be nice if Cherry could be quiet then. When the cats got home, they jumped onto their big, soft, comfortable cat bed. And they all got their books out to read. Cherry was asleep in about 30 seconds. Vea was lifting her paws up, trying to copy some of the moves in her ballet book. And Heidi was reading away, just like she normally does, for a really long time. Until eventually, Vea and Heidi fell asleep too. And they had the bestest dreams. The end.